Hello, my fellow Indians. Or should I say, my fellow walkers. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Dojo Rarity. And it's March, so it means more dead content on its way. <laughs> because yesterday was the premiere of The Walking Dead episode 17, Home Sweet Home. It's still season 10. They included like six bonus episodes, didn't get to see because of COVID, they're kind of delayed. And few zombies as I mentioned because of COVID, it was hard to film. But yeah, it's finally here and I always want to do Walking Dead content. But my, anyway, you know, it's my favorite show. Also, you see at my background, my favorite characters ever and my favorite character as you can see and if you know me and follow me for quite a while i already talked about walking that before like on my halloween videos so you know it's my favorite show ever and i'm so excited to gonna review the episode because it's been like i waited so long for walking that to come because it was like last year i think october or something was the last episode or november right so that did not three months but Let's get started. So if you watched the season finale of Walking Dead, season 10, then you know Maggie is back. She was like missing the whole season. She only appeared in the last episode, 16, The Certain Doom, where she like saved Gabriel's life. She suddenly came there with some guy that we also get to know, like a new character called Elijah and Cole. And I think Elijah is in the comics. I know about Cole. I'm not really up to date in the comics. So that's why this episode is focused on Maggie because we get, didn't get to see her anymore. And now she's back and we're wondering what the hell is she been doing and where the, the hell was she? And also where's Herschel first of all? And why did she left her friends behind? Like when she came back, all of them are dead again? It's like, okay. Because to be honest, Maggie was never really my favorite character. She was always like the least favorite character of all the girls and also the other characters. Like... I was so sad but still to see her again because she was mentioning like her family like Beth, Hirsch and Glenn. So I was so sad always of course waterfalls came. So I was so sad when she mentioned them because it's like you miss them, like it's like you can always feel her pain because everything she's been through, losing everything. It's like so sad and also always makes me cry. Yeah, and I never really liked her and I only liked her with Glenn. I, I liked Glaggy. I love that ship, but now that Glenn is gone. It's so hard more to like her and so like yeah the first episode that she's back again and she kind of got confronted with Negan and okay she didn't really talk to him but she saw him and was like he said hey and oh my god of course can you imagine after all this year seeing this <laughs> again after what she did oh god also the one thing is I don't like Negan at all I hate him that's why I'm kind of like mega side in this one because I could never forgive him what he did I think Maggie could never get over it what Negan did to Glenn. It's like me, I could never get over it. So it doesn't matter if he, if he like saved Judith. It doesn't matter what he did. But I know he killed Alpha and he saved him. And I know what that Carol did was a good thing because only Negan could have stopped Alpha. But still. And so the underway like finding the other people because she left like her with the other people behind. And now she's only with Elijah, the one with the mask. And then Cole, they also get to talk a little bit. And then of course Daryl is in this episode with Kelly because Kelly is looking for her sister Connie. So of course Daryl talk with Maggie, like where she spins, good to see you again, something like that. There's like new villains and they're kind of called the Reapers. Like Maggie called them like that. And they are the ones who destroyed her village. And that's why she left because like the whole village was like slaughtered. And now she have no home anymore. Like remember the one woman Georgie with the twins, they also disappeared. Because I also don't know, I mean yeah she left because of Herschel, she didn't want him to stay like where Negan is. Even though Hilltop and Negan's are there. But she just wanted to leave everything behind, leaving her friends behind. And now she lost everything again. Now she want to go back to Hilltop, but then Hilltop was also destroyed because of the Whispers. So everything was like changed when she came back. Now the only place that could settle down is Alexandria and it's like the worst place to go because Negan is there. But she has no choice to go there. And I think she only do this because of Herschel. She found Herschel to have a home. Yeah, I think the only reason she keep on fighting is because of Herschel. She, she does everything for him. So like these new people who are not even in the comics, I mean the Reapers, they're like just a new story. Because like Walking Dead, they always do like that. 
not everything is from the comics. Yeah, so the one guy who was dressing up, he's like camouflage kinda because you couldn't really see him as a camouflaging, looks like he's like in the woods. He says to Maggie like, Pope, you've been marked, something like that. And the question is, who are these new enemies and why just killing them one by one? Because Maggie later on met some of her group and all of them died. They got brutally killed by them from afar, like a sniper. So what's the deal with them? And she was like, well, because she left Herschel behind with them and she doesn't know where Herschel is. So she's going to find Herschel. They kind of, there's like few zombies in the episode. As I mentioned, there's not going to be kind of like about zombies anymore because of COVID. It's hard for them to film so many zombies. So it's more about people. And it's like more about character development, I think. So we finally get to see Herschel Jr. And he's so cute. Oh my God. It looks so much like Glenn. I think he did it on purpose. He had like this cap on and dressed like him. When I saw him, I'm like, hey mom. Oh my God. He's so cute. Like just a mini Glenn. Oh my God. And they're going back to Alexandria. Now the question is, will she tell Herschel that Negan is the one who killed his father? Because she mentioned to Herschel that a bad man killed Glenn. Because... Herschel asked who killed my father, but I think she shouldn't tell Herschel that it's it was Negan. So the question is, how is she gonna deal with Negan living in the same place? And then with Herschel also, is she gonna tell Herschel that Negan is the one who killed his father? Because in the comics I heard Herschel is this badass kid, he's like so evil or something. He's kind of like Carl in the comics, I mean, because Carl in the show is like so different. So I don't know if how Herschel is gonna react if he find out it's him. So personally for me it's better he doesn't know about it. And also it's gonna is Negan gonna talk to Maggie? I think if he's so guilty of what he did because Hirsch looks exactly like Glenn, so like seeing him like that, he remember how he smashed Glenn's face or like that. And I think he never forgiven for that also. I mean he likes kids. You can see that because of Judith. He's like so close with Judith and Lydia even. So I don't know. Is he gonna just ignore them? I mean they can't ignore each other forever because Someday they need to kind of work together because they live together. So I can imagine how the conversation is going to be like when they actually talk together. So yeah, that was it, I think. That's the whole episode. So stay tuned because don't click off yet because they're still going to, are going to be talking about episode 18 because I was two episodes. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to post every Walk of Dead view on Mondays now. Because like on in the States it's gonna come out Sunday, so here on Monday, so it's the best time to post it. So yeah. So on to the episode 18. The title is Find Me. By the way, I'm back with a new getup. I have my Walking Dead beanie and then my Walking Dead jacket. Also my Walking Dead t-shirt. How awesome is that? It's the first one I'm wearing it because I finally have the reason to <laughs> So this episode is centered around Daryl and Carol, mainly Daryl actually. So in the beginning, I mean, last time we saw Daryl was like they went to the Alexandria, right, with Maggie. And then in this episode, he wanted to go on a hunting trip. I'm confused about the timeline, but I think it's right after that. I don't know. He decided to go like out and Carol wanted to go with him, but even though Daryl didn't want it to. But I think he have other agenda on his mind. Later on, you find out why he wants to go out there. And then Carol still join him because they're always together while they're always going on the trip. And of course, Doc came along. And later on, you find out more about Doc. Where he came from anyway. And then they have this little talk going on. Like they talk about how long they know each other. Like had a long ride. And we kind of can relate to that because they're the only OG characters in season one. Can you imagine? How sad it is they lost everyone. It's like we also lost them because we kind of grew up with the characters. So like Daryl losing Rick was really hard for him because they're like brothers, right? So that's so sad to talk about that. And then they found they find this cabin, and I think Daryl know this cabin because the way he look at it, and they kind of had a flashback then, like with a woman holding the dog, and it's like what the hell is going on? Like who's that woman? I thought at first it was like his childhood memories. I thought. He lived in this kind of cabin before or something, but then it wasn't like that. And then the short flashbacks throughout the whole episode it was also confusing about the timeline. It's like about five years ago, and we all know five years ago was the time when Rick was killed, kinda, and like 
I mean, his body was never found, so we all know Daryl was looking for Rick all this time. So he has gone for a while now. And the show, what he did in those times, he also meet Kel sometimes. And Kel was the time with Ezekiel and Henry, they like in Kingdom, so there was, Henry was still alive at the time. It's like running away, kind of, because he felt like so guilty for not, it was kind of his fault with him and Rick. So he kind of felt guilty and wanted to run away from that five years ago. And then he find this puppy and all this time. It's dog, which is so cute. So I know him since he was a puppy. The puppy kind of brought him to this cabin that we saw earlier. And there was like a woman who lived there. So all this time, the dog wasn't even... I mean, and we know it's not Darius, but it was like belonged to a woman. So I thought he just found him randomly one day. But then this dog belonged to the woman. And I don't know why the dog really loved Darius so much and brought him to this cabin to kind of meet this woman. Anyway, she held like a gun to his head because she can't trust anyone. Daryl will do the same thing, I think. So, but then later on, she let him go because she decided to trust him because dog kind of trusted him. Later on, she revealed her name is Leia. And so, who is Leia? I forgot to mention also Carol mentioned that she lived here. So it means Carol knew about Leia because Daryl always tells everything because of best friends. So what's the thing about this girl, Leia? Anyway, then it gets more confusing because they always show like flashbacks again, like one year ago and then like months ago. Anyway, their friendship kind of turned into something more. Yes, you heard it right. Daryl has a relationship. Like, what the hell? I mean, Daryl doesn't seem to be the kind of type. I mean, even though he's not really my favorite, but I, f I thought that Daryl is kind of this person who doesn't need love. And maybe shies away from it. He don't like this kind of thing. Because who knows? So people are like that, right? Who don't like to be, be with someone. And... I thought Daryl is this person, but then suddenly this Leia, I don't know what was it. Maybe it's because it kind of reminded her of Carol, because I forgot to mention also there was like a time when they were like spear fishing, and Carol was kind of like Leia because they also did, he did that with Leia, and this, he said exact same thing what he said to Carol. So it's kind of like similar, I think that's why the time when Carol did that spear fishing kind of reminded him of Leia, because they're so much alike, that's why he liked it. That doesn't mean he likes Carol. I know I know people always ship them both. For me, I don't really care. I mean, people always ship him with Connie and still blame him, her for Connie's death. But I don't know what to think about it. I thought like, Daryl doesn't need anyone. I thought he's kind of this person. So it was totally out of character because all this time Daryl decided he had someone. I mean, it doesn't seem this kind of thing, right? That you fall in love with someone because he never had someone in his life before. So what changed his mind? Because like Leah reminded him so much of Carol or of him. I don't know because she was all alone there. And I don't know why they hadn't mind with the story. So for us it's kind of weird because only been like one episode she's in. So we don't really know her. But for them it was like months to get to know each other. So of course it's different for these characters. Anyway at one point they were like fighting because she knows about Daryl that that she ha he has some other group out there and she's asking where does he belong and he doesn't know how to answer that because he has so many people in his life but she lost everything and that's one time when she told him that she lost her son who wasn't really her son I mean, she didn't give birth to him just like Carol with Henry and so it all made kind of sense because that time when Carol lost Henry reminded her also of Leah at some point because it's the same thing like right? Henry wasn't Carol's son but still was his, his her family so it's kind of so sad also because he also thinking of Rick it's like his brother and because when when she mentioned who did you lose she said brother and he meant Rick by that not Mer because Mer it's been like a long time since he was gone but Rick was just kind of recently that time I think so it's kind of sad and kind of it's like all over again but that's why he acted the way he did because Leah also lost someone and then she turned to this woman who don't trust anyone because she's all alone. She lost everyone and Daryl has people and Carol also has people but then she lost Henry. She was like going crazy running away. So then Daryl goes out because he always like meet Carol from time to time. Also like looking for Rick. When he came back she was gone because it's like he walked away because he didn't see anything where he belonged. So the woman actually went away and left the dog there. So that's the reason dog is with Daryl now and that's why it reminded him so much more of Carol because Carol also went away, right? So this Leah person is exactly like Carol. And because he hated 
that they're always like running away from him like why all the women are like that to him so the ending was kind of sad because now it's like back to the real timeline that makes sense he's talking with carol and that was so sad to see because that kind of broke up the friendship it really hurts me the most seeing them like that because he still blames carol for connie's death i think he actually liked connie and he was so angry at her because she always ran away just like Leah, it happened again and he said he's done with it it's so sad because we know them since the season one and they're like the og characters and every, everyone they lost we also lose them so it's kind of like we can relate to them so it's kind of sad to see that but of course it won't last forever because that's just a spin-off and i'm thinking before the series end they're gonna be okay of course and they're gonna run off in the sunset together i'm not saying like together but as friends because it's like it's like that. They're like family. I mean, in this world, it's different than real life because you never know when you're gonna lose a person, so you can't always like hate them forever. I think this family back in Alexandria or Hilltop or whatsoever, but he wants to have a different life with someone else, and I understand that also. Even though it's with Leah that you don't really know, but still, it's like that. Even though this world is different because you never know who to lose. Every time you lose someone, I mean. But Maggie did the same thing, she also ran away. So that's why it makes sense when you talk to Maggie, let's talk about something and why Maggie ran away. I think Daryl could relate to that because he, at some point he did run away. And like character is relevant for Daryl because he finally found love, even though it's with Leah. And let's see, maybe in the spin-off, of course, they're gonna look for her or something. I think we'll see her again because she just disappeared and didn't actually die. So yeah, there's that. So this was it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Also stay tuned for more episode reviews for ne the next episodes to come. And also comment down below if you're Walking Dead fan actually. This came out of nowhere but I always wanted to do Walking Dead reviews. But like my channel is only new. I just started last year. I didn't feel like it was the time to do it. But now since I started Wonder Vision review, why not do Walking Dead? Because I always want to do Walking Dead content for you guys. Even I don't know if you like Walking Dead but I know there's many fans of Walking Dead out there. So, it's also one of my favorite shows, so of course I want to do that. And that's why I'm going to start with season 10 episode, bonus episodes. But it's okay because I'm going to do more reviews in the future, like the next season to come. And yeah, so if you're still here, please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in that kind of content. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also, don't forget to put on the post notifications so you know exactly when I upload. I upload every Wednesdays and Saturdays and sometimes Mondays. It was like walking dead to views. See you on my next video. Bye.